An interesting thing just happened to me today. I'm in the city of Konya, Turkey. I walk into a small store to uh, buy some soft drinks and some snacks, and I'm about to pay. And then there's a man. He's around my age. And before I pay, he pays me a compliment. And he says, where are you from? So he, he can speak English pretty well, which is impressive. And then he says, you're handsome. Now, this is, this is very interesting because it's not a, a young woman that's trying to compliment me. It's a guy, a, a peer of my age. And there's this interesting psychological effect that happens where I'm immediately looking around the store thinking, oh, maybe I should buy some more. And it's this idea that when somebody flatters you or compliments you or gives you anything, really, there's a little sense of indebtedness, like you need to pay that person back. And this is what Robert Cialdini calls reciprocation. And a lot of it is, is subconscious. So you're not even aware a lot of the time that that's what you're doing. But somebody's given you something and you feel like, hey, maybe I should give them something back. The other interesting thing about flattery is that it's effective even when you suspect that it's insincere. And a lot of that has to do with kind of our selfishness. We like to delude ourselves into thinking that, hey, we, we are awesome people. And, and we know this from psychological studies that show that uh, most people, the majority of people think they're above average in attractiveness and physical attractiveness, which statistically uh, doesn't really make any sense, right? Because 50% of people would be, approximately 50% of people would be below average and about 50% would be above average. So uh, flattery is effective. And we see this in the workplace all the time in terms of how people get promoted and um, the political dynamics of what happens in office spaces, but it also works in marketing. When you flatter your customer, your user, your prospective customer in, in, in ways that are, um, not too overt, uh, it's effective. So, uh, there are examples of this in products themselves. So for example, one of the most popular video games is a CSGO. So Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And what's really interesting about studying how the product works is it, it is almost as though everybody gets a reward. There is flattery embedded in the system where even if you're the worst player, you still get some sort of recognition. Um, there are people that are recognized because of certain things that they did more than other people in the game. So that, that's a form of flattery. And when you uh, are flattered, there, there's more engagement. You, you want to stay engaged in the product. You want to use it more. You feel kind of this positive reinforcement. Another example is Lemlist. So Lemlist is this cold email tool that I talk about a lot, that I use a lot. And what they do is they create this positive reinforcement environment where when you accomplish something like just creating a campaign or doing some stupid little thing, there's a reward. There's a kind of a form of flattery like, hey, congratulations, you just launched this. Like you just did something new. And that form of flattery encourages people to form habits uh, of using your product and to uh, continue using your product into the future and to continue to buy that product uh, into the future as well.